Hello, everybody, and welcome to yet another night of Battle of the Minds. Tonight, we've got two very interesting, <laughs> very interesting <laughs> personalities joining us. Uh, uh, two people from different sides of the world who I've had the pleasure of meeting and getting to know. And uh, we're in for quite the show, actually, because uh, the, two, uh, the two fantastic players I'm about to introduce are, are fiery dynamic chess player. So the chess is going to be absolutely, uh, in my opinion, it's going to be very exciting to watch. The poker is something that's going to be a little bit mysterious. One of the people I'm about to introduce, I've played a lot of poker with over the years. The other, I've got absolutely no idea. So we're going to do a small interview first to find out what's going on. And we've got joining us tonight, the wonderful Florencia Fernandez. Florencia, <laughs> a lot of you guys will know if you watch the Chess 24 Spanish channel, she does a lot of work for the Spanish channel, commentating, making uh, training material. So definitely check that out. And we've got none other than international master Ali Mortazavi, one of the most underrated players in the UK. <laughs> uh, a, uh, a fantastic <laughs> player, a good friend of mine, a man who's trying to solve world problems. And uh, it's uh, it's an honour to be joined by you both tonight. It's a pleasure to be have you both here. Welcome. Why are you being so nice. I'm supposed to be nice, you know. In right. people don't realise Ali's basically my best friend, and we've known each other for many, many years. But <laughs> in front of the cameras, I have to be nice, Ali. Okay. You know, in real life, they know the truth. No, um, Ali's great. So I I'm going to start with um, with Floor. First, Florencia, Flor, as uh, friends call her. Now, Florencia um, is going to speak in Spanish and I'm going to translate it because she feels more comfortable in Spanish. So, Florencia, the, the first question I'm going to ask Florencia is, we know she's a fantastic chess player, woman international master, played for the Argentinian uh, national team, but I have no idea what her story with poker is. Did you ask the question, Florencia, more or less? Entendí, te respondo en español, okay. porque en, mm -hmm. en inglés estamos mal. Te puedo responder okay. en español o en portugués, okay. en inglés no puedo. Okay. Eh, no, la realidad es que tengo un vínculo con el póker porque tengo muchos amigos profesionales que se dedican mm -hmm. a eso. De hecho, mm -hmm. una de mis mejores amigas que juega al ajedrez también ahora está dedicándose solo al póker. Entonces, como que tengo un vínculo muy fuerte en ese sentido, como mis mejores amigos se dedican. Y, y me encanta, o sea, de hecho, cuando era más chica tomé un par de clases para para intentar ser profesional, pero bueno, es que hay que dedicarle mucho tiempo también. Así que, nada, esa es como mi relación. Eh, obviamente, me da mucha vergüenza porque no soy una jugadora profesional, ni mucho menos, pero, pero me encanta jugar, así que, bueno, okay. voy a intentar hacer lo mejor posible. Tengo un rival duro igual, tengo miedo de perder en todo de acero, pero, pero bueno, voy a intentar, voy a intentar okay. dar lo mejor. Ok, Florencia said that... Um... She, uh, her story with poker is a little strange, but she has, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a lot of friends that uh, turn professional. She's around a lot of people that play. She actually has a chess friend that turned professional. Um, and that, you know, when she was a kid, her father played as well. Uh, oh. but she doesn't have much experience herself playing, but she likes playing. She enjoys it very much. She said, she, you know, it's a little bit embarrassing because perhaps she hasn't played you, no as well mucho, no? You haven't played a lot in tu vida, right? You haven't, no, no, no. She's played very little. So, but, you know, uh, you, 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 I'm sure you know the basic strategies and that, and, and that kind of stuff. So, okay, so that's your story with poker. Now, Ali, your yes. story with poker is slightly different because, you know, <laughs> we've played a lot. So I actually, I actually don't think I know how you started with playing poker or being interested in poker. Okay. How did that start? I played poker in, I think, the Victoria Casino is the first time I ever played in, like, 1995. Right. When uh, it was very fashionable to smoke at the tables. And it was just like, it was literally like just being in a, like, smoke shop, basically. Okay. And that was it. And um, that was that. And then online poker came and, you know, I kind of played a lot of online poker. Mm -hmm. And I kind of played a lot with you, like. Yeah, we played uh, a lot, yeah. Yeah. And you, um, I mean, I mean, I know you enjoy it. Perhaps I mean, not at some point you probably enjoyed it quite a lot playing, right? Or you just enjoyed the atmosphere. Did you enjoy more the live poker where you could socialize with people? Was that what you enjoyed more, or did you? Enjoy um, actually, I, I think I've always hated poker. It's just, <laughs> it's just the stupid game. 
just yeah, like whatever anyone says in the end when you get pieces against games and you lose there's just no way to walk away and thinking this is a good game it's a frustrating game because you can lose so so often right yeah i agree with that it's a very frustrating game well uh the chess the chess side of things is very interesting now floor um your chess now obviously i've seen you play chess and i know you're very very dangerous at blitz very dangerous so (laughs) tonight what is your strategy is your strategy like i have to win the blitz like that's the priority or do, do you understand uh cuál es tu estrategia hoy para para este match en cuanto al ajedrez ay no sé no sé no tengo idea eh, voy a intentar eh, jugar como en lo que yo considero que puedo no sé intentar sacar algo que es las posiciones caóticas y dinámicas que a mí me gusta mucho entonces nada tratar de, de, de intentar entrar en esas posiciones y intentar jugar lo mejor posible y que bueno, que sea lo que sea, ya fue, pasarla bien. O sea, sé que claramente no soy la favorita, así que voy a intentar divertirme un rato. Okay, Flor says, well, first she's going to try and enjoy herself and she's going to try and enjoy the kinds of positions that she excels in, which happen to be the same positions that Mr. Ali Mordazavi excels in. Flor is a, oh. a, is a fantastic <coughs> tactician. She likes the dynamic positions with lots of uh, combinations and, uh, and you know, chaotic, as, as she said, chaotic positions. And Ali as well is kind of, uh, 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 you know, having played, how many games of Blitz have we played lifetime, Ali, would you say? Uh, many thousands, no? 25,000. 25,000 Blitz, me and Ali. Maybe played. more. Yeah, could be more. We've pro- <laughs> Ali and I have played about 25,000, maybe more actually, lifetime, so we've played a lot of chess, and I can tell you that Ali also enjoys that. So it should be absolutely um, chaotic, the chess tonight. It should be absolutely sacrifice and combinations. I'm quite excited about that. Okay, and then obviously you guys know how it works. It's uh, chess, then poker, chess, then poker, and then the final leg is chess and poker at the same time. Now, that is the one, that is the, 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 uh, the championship rounds, that one, because that's, uh, it weighs more points wise. But Ali, have you ever actually played chess and poker at the same time? Well, no, I'm really quite, what, what do you, what do you actually do? So you have the <laughs> poker up on one screen and you're playing the 10 minute game on the other screen. So you're playing the heads up and the chess at the same time. Oh, okay. No, I've never done that. That sounds, uh... well, have you done that before? Have you played poker and chess at the same time? As well? Just- me pasó, me, sí, sí, me pasó alguna vez que estaba jugando algún torneo y justo se me abrió algo de póker o al revés, pero no lo recomiendo ni un poco, o sea, de hecho hago todo mal, como que colazo súper rápido, eh, o capaz estoy en un torneo de póker, hace un montón de horas, ya estoy reaburrida y me abro un torneo, una partida de un minuto huele en, en ajedrez, pero no, no funciona eso, de ninguna forma, así que nada, espero no volverme loca. So Floor has tried it before. She doesn't recommend it. It didn't go particularly well. It's quite difficult to balance both. Oh, um, how, how, how quickly are the, uh, the blinds are on the, the, on the Well, the blinds are in the, in the hyper turbo. In the first one, I can't remember if it's like every two minutes or every three minutes the blinds go up, but the, the match is, you know, over quite quickly. In the turbo, again, uh, the blinds go up quite quickly. And in the last one, the blinds go up in a normal rate. But um, again, the matches can end, obviously, very quickly. What... I'm going to give Floor, if you don't mind, Ali, a little advice, right? Right. What I can say, Floor, is that Ali es, es un juego super agresivo en cuanto al poker. Okay. So, oh, okay. Very, Qué bien. Uh, o sea que me, okay. me va a blefear bastante, supongo. Te ¿no? va a subir, te va a subir. Sí. Okay. Me va a subir, a blefear. Así que vamos a ver. I just told you that you're going to raise her. <laughs> you never know. I might change. I might play very solidly at chess and I might not raise a poker. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You're right. I'll, I'll raise <laughs> Okay. I think with that, then, we're more or less ready to go. So, Ali, you're just going to mute us and Flora. All right. Uh, Good luck, Flora. And I'm going to comment. Good luck. I'm looking forward to this. Good luck to both of you. And we'll see you on, on at the end of the match. Okay. okay. Great. See you bye, then. Bye bye. Okay. So we are ready. This should be fireworks tonight. I mean, we've got two absolutely fantastic, dynamic chess players. And um, 
it's going to be it's going to be really fun to watch them play and hopefully my producer can get me the first game and here we go we've got the first game up here is the chess so we've got a uh king's indian and um ali playing you know ali is a king's indian player through and through loves the king's indian and here he goes with his uh, immediately with his kind of benko esque uh defense against the king's indian he's it's something he's been played a gazillion times loads of times against me as well uh a6 so yeah kind of like a pure benko and floor playing white here in the tank and let's see how ali reacts i guess he's going to play knight takes a6 here or Queen a5 or something like that, typical Ali style. And um, yeah, he does go bishop takes a6. I wasn't sure about that move. I thought that was probably not the best capture. Uh, but let's see what Floor does here. She's so just going to go knight f3. She takes. Okay, yeah, this, this, and she's going to go knight g2. Yeah. Rook takes a6, knight. And now Ali for sure is going to play knight g. Oh, he doesn't go knight g4. That surprises me. Okay, he's going to throw a knight g4 in or a knight e5 here. One of those moves will come. Knowing Ali, probably knight e5 to be able to go knight c4. Knight g4 is also a possibility, but it looks as though black has got a very good Benko gambit here. This is actually basically transposed to a Benko gambit. A pretty decent one as well. The rook's coming to b8, and I'm not sure the knight on e2 here. The knight definitely would rather be on d2, you feel. Uh, where it could jump to c4, but with the knight on e2, meh, I'm not completely sure that this is a good one. And Ali is just an exceptional player in these positions. Um, so, uh, yeah, and now floor is going b3. Actually, this kind of is working out. Is there a tactic here? Some knight g4 might work. Uh, Ali's going to have to think about knight g4. Um, what else can he do? He could retreat the queen, but that looks a bit passive. That's not really Ali's style. Knight h5 or knight e8 exists, but feels as though he's going to go for some... But knight g4 isn't that convincing, right? So I, I'm not completely sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the chat because obviously um, that would be great as well to, to see. I'm going to be on the chess 24 chat tonight. See how many people are... Uh, yeah, and he does go knight g4, which which doesn't really surprise me at all. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go for the uh, I'll go for the YouTube chat tonight. How about that? Uh, and she goes bishop d2, knight e5, but Floor has managed to consolidate here, which is very good. But Ali doesn't mind; he likes these positions. Uh, but this was a this was a a, a a pretty good move here. Um, so knight e5. And uh, floor to play. She's taking a long time, though. Ali with a minute on the clock. That's a big advantage. A4. I mean, you do want to play that move because now knight b5 is coming. But uh, how is Ali going to react? Because knight b5 is actually a serious threat here. He goes c4, planning to meet knight b5 with queen b6 check. This is an excellent move, actually, by Ali. This is a really... Oh, she's going to miss queen b6 check. Ay ay ay. Queen b6 is coming immediately. Now, king h1 or knight d4. And then I guess, well, maybe she's still okay, just. I mean, it looks sketchy, but I don't actually. It's, yeah, so Ali goes knight d3. Ah, right, now knight f2 check and bishop takes a1. Yeah, this this is the problem. This is a this is a crushing move, knight d3. Because actually after b takes c4, you win two exchanges. b takes c4, bishop takes a1, queen takes a1, knight f2. Marlon Martinez says in the chat, who is uh, Ali Morazavi? Ali is an international master. He is the CEO of a, an important biotech company in England and a very, very, very good blitz player and poker player. H3 by floor, she kind of admits that she's going to lose an exchange. Yeah, and now just taking on A1 beats and then taking on B3 looks very good. Bishop H6 can always be met by F6. Ali decides to go the other route with knight f2, knight f2, queen f2. She's going to take... Ah, she can't take on c4 because the, the rook hangs. Floor with only 36 seconds. Yeah, this one is not looking so good for Floor, I have to say. I don't fancy her chances here. So, 
Bishop takes uh, c3. She's got pre-moved. I mean, Ali could play that. He does. And now he can play not any move. C takes b3 is good. Um, I guess he's just going to do that. C takes b3. Yeah, queen takes b3. And now knight c5. Ali will play 100%. He does. Queen somewhere. Queen c4. Okay, floor at least hanging on a little bit. I mean, now it's kind of, she's kind of consolidated. The position's obviously still much better for Ali, but Ali actually has to do something. So let's see if floor gets a little bit of momentum here. This is not completely over. There's some awkward knight jumps here, perhaps. Queen c2. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good move, I think, by Ali. Um, and now floor going rook a2 also makes a lot of sense. Unless there's some check, queen c1 check, king h2. And now is there some knight takes a4? No, it doesn't work. Queen f4 check makes sense. Uh, no, she's not going to go g3, king h1. Now it's a little, yeah, now it's kind of, I don't see a way for, I mean, yeah, exactly. Ali moving his queen. I mean, this is all a bit random now. So how is Floor going to proceed? Rook e2, I'm not a huge fan of. Now queen c1 check, and now knight takes a4 exists. That's the problem. She misses. Or rook takes a4. She Oh, Ali missed it. Okay. He, I mean, he can repeat and then and then do it. That's surprising that he missed that because that's the sort of tactic Ali normally does actually see. Yeah, I think he's seen it now probably. Yeah. He finally sees it. Queen c7. Oh! Okay, rook... Uh, D to, or anyway, any rook move because there's oh no, then queen f4 g3. Yeah, she has to be a little bit careful. Rook f8, and uh, now you can take the queen and then just take the knight. Yeah, and it's a full exchange. And obviously, you know, this is winning for black, so the question is, and floor only has one second, so that's going to be tough for her to uh to deal with. Rook b1, h5 will come now by Ali. Yeah. Rook c1 will come, or rook c3. Now she want, he wants to go g5, h4. Or he won't go g5, probably. Yeah, rook c1, f4. Okay. Yeah, now this is a good move. Takes, takes, check, king f3. Yeah, g4, we'll go h4. Yeah, good move, Ali, g5. f6 is good as well. King takes, I guess, king f2. g5, no, g4. Floor hanging on, king g6. F5, king h5, or oh, king f7, king g2, check. Yeah, this is good. King g7, yeah. Rook a4 now, yeah. And finally, the king comes in, I guess. And the king comes in. But check. Oh, rook g3? King h5, king f4, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be tough. She's almost in this one here. He can actually take that knight and go h3, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be that. She's trying e5, but it's just too little, too late. And queen is going to... She's going to try. Okay, I love it. And now he's just going to queen the other pawn, unfortunately, for floor. And she is going to lose this game. All right. First blood goes to Ali. Good little game there by Ali, have to say. So, took his chance. Pretty good. Now we go to the poker. And... Uh, yeah. Let's see here. What's that? And now you go to the poker, Flood it, Flood. ¿Y cómo hago? Entro al... En, yeah, see where it says, ves, sit, sit and go? Sí. Sí. Haz clic sobre eso. Y haz clic sobre la, el primer enlace, Friday Hyper. Ok. Tienes que... Uh, sí. Dale. Y la contraseña tienes en... en ah, el, tener... ¿No? O en el correo. So first blood to Ali, and we'll talk about the games after. So now we're going to get to the poker. Oh, what? Oh, no. I'm ah, wait, hold on. Uh... Did 
Damn, they didn't fix this. That's so annoying. Uh, esto es super frustrante. No se puede. No se puede. <laughs> o sea, hold on a second here. We have to get you a new uh, a new uh, a new account. Um, uh, let me just uh, communicate with the Zoom. Okay. Apologies, guys. Um. Mm. Oh, this is so frustrating that they're doing this. Um, we need a new, basically a new account for you. Let me see if I can give you my details, actually, Floor. Um, let me just try and remember. Um, Uh, this is a problem. Um, okay, uh, let's try this. Floor. Sí. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go for a very quick break <laughs> because this okay. will take a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And we'll be right back because we've had a slight, we had this technical error.
Okay, apologies for that, guys. A few technical errors just made. There's sometimes a clash of accounts, so we need a new account. Uh, Floor playing uh, at the bottom. She opened the uh, the ace deuce, which is completely standard. And Ali getting off to the start that I expected, immediately raising Floor. Ali is an extremely aggressive poker player, super aggressive poker player. And uh, so, uh, you know, we're going to see a lot of raising, a lot of bluffing. And it'll be interesting to see how Floor does against that. So Ali opening big. You saw in the other games that nobody opened to this size. <laughs> Ali is not a, you know, he, he hasn't studied the, the, the theory so much. He just plays um, and he bets the pot and, you know, all of this, all of it. So what we're seeing tonight, none of this is theoretical. You know, nobody opens to 120. Like that's a 6x, is it 6 or 3x blind and then bets the pot. This is old school. And Floor called with the with the gut shot. Is she thinking about uh, is she thinking about maybe bluffing this board? Now Ali could have absolutely anything here, and knowing Ali, he's not going to slow down. He does slow down, and the ace hits. Now is Floor going to buff bluff at this, or is she just going to check and give up here? She probably is checking, thinking, "Oh, Ali." And Ali did have the queen jack, so Floor, um, you know, probably misplayed that. I mean, she should if she's gonna if she's gonna. Uh, uh, play that hand, she has to try and bluff. And now Ali leads out. This is the so-called donk lead, not playing in flow, just leads out into the pot. Now, knowing Ali, he does like to have a five in his hand. Now he bets 20, uh, which is very strange. So he bets pot, then he bets 20. Uh, so I've got no idea. Flora is calling down with King High. It might be good. King might be good, but she's going to fold here. So she, she, it's difficult to play against her. Uh, a, uh, a, a an aggressive player like Ali. Now, Floor has to do something here. She's got a big hand. Yeah, put it all in. Put it in his face. That's right, Floor. Exactly. Let's see if Ali calls. Maybe Ali has a hand, but I don't think so. He could have literally anything in this uh, in this game. So let's see if he <laughs> let's see if he calls. I'm curious. He folds. Okay. So uh, Floor now with the king eight still in it. She's got a good good raise. That's correct raise. She flops a king. Now she has to bet this against Ali. Ali can have 6-3. Ali can have all kinds of stuff. The fact he didn't re-raise means he's probably very weak, knowing Ali. So, yeah. Um, okay. So, good. This is good so far. Ali limped, which is very unusual. Now, this looks like an Ali flop, to be honest. This really looks like an Ali flop. So, he limps. He's And floor... Folds, so, uh, okay, Floor now with the suited ace has to raise this up, of course. And uh, in this position here, let's see if we get the the re-raise from Ali. We do get the re-raise. Floor calls, she flops the three. Very tricky board, though, just for a bottom pair, no hard. If Ali bets big, <laughs> he just shoves it in there. I, I would love to see Floor call here with just like a three and... The problem is Ali's probably at least got a heart here. And in that case, it's, you know, Floor is probably flipping at the very best there. So that's going to be hard. Floor is going to have a hard time tonight dealing with these big bets from Ali. Okay, she calls the Jack Deuce. I don't like that at all with her chips chip stack. She has to fold or do something. Now she's got a really tough situation because she's got two two pair, uh, sorry, two deuces, but it's it's uh it's hard and now ali with the big chip stack and she's folding yeah floor you can see that she's not played that much poker um so she's gonna have a hard time against ali who's been playing poker probably longer than floor's been alive uh, if he said he started in 1995 i'm not even sure was floor born in 1995 maybe maybe she's maybe she was already born okay so, uh, yeah, Ali with the big chip chip advantage now. Raises it big. Floor calls again. She doesn't really want to be calling with this. And now she leads out. I like it. And she gets called, and now she's going to lead out again. She's just going to bet for her sevens. Her sevens could be good here, knowing Ali. I mean, Ali, when he just calls that flop, yeah, he just folds now and... Yeah, he's trying to bulldoze his way. Okay, Floor now with the King Deuce. This is a raise, of course. She's got 20. She's got, she's got a bit of maneuverability. Jack, and now Ali leads. Now she's going to be stubborn. Okay, she calls. I don't mind it. 
I kind of mind it, but she has to bet now. If she caught, now she has to bet, take the initiative in the pot. Okay, she doesn't, and now Ellie's gonna bet this river 100%. He doesn't give up, yeah, and he bets the pot. And he was bluffing and she caught it. <laughs> brilliant, absolutely brilliant. She thought, wow, this guy can't have a hand all the time. And she, she called him and she was right. That's absolutely brilliant. Good call, Floor. And now she's got the chip advantage. Now Ali might be thinking, oh, I have to slow down here. Okay, Floor checking. She has obviously nothing here. Ali also checks. I guess Ali wins this pot because, like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> and he goes all in. That's so funny. Uh, it's so good. And Floor folds with King High, which makes a lot of sense, of course. Okay, Floor... Folds the queen eight. She shouldn't be doing that. That's a that's definitely a raise. So, okay. Now she calls and now she she leads out. I love it. I love it. She's just giving. Now the problem is, yeah, Ali now puts in the raise and now she's right. I've got top pair with a decent kicker. It's good enough against Ali. And he, she is good. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she wins. Yes, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh wow, that's fantastic. What is going on? All right, Floor wins the first uh, heads up. So that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, well done to Floor. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to the chest now. And... Um, <laughs> Uh, that was just so much fun to watch. Compared to the other games, completely different styles this week. And we're going to see the chest now. Ali again with the black pieces. And off we go. This is going to be a five plus one uh, blitz game. Uh, so this is going to be obviously... Uh, yeah. Uh, slightly slower. But we're going to get a similar opening. Ali... Has, he's not uh, one for changing up his repertoire. So um, that's fantastic. What does YouTube's chat say? Let's go floor. Come on, we want floor to win. That's fantastic. Same opening as before. Ali will go C5 again, really? Or did he, what did he do last time? E5? It was C5 he played, no? Um, that's fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, C5, D5, and now he went B5. So he's going to do the same thing. Oh, he goes E6 this time, so he mixes it up slightly compared to last time. Okay, this is good stuff. This is excellent stuff. Okay, Knight F3, and Knight A6 by Ali. Slightly unusual, but uh, okay. Knight c7. I'm not sure about this by Ali. I think Floor's feeling more comfortable in this position compared to the last one. Is he still going to go takes, takes? He can take on d5 and go b5 now, and the e4 pawn is hanging, right? So ed5, cd5, and b5, for example, could, uh, could happen. Ali goes e5. Very interesting decision. So now he wants to play it. Like a pure King's Indian, he's going to play knight h5 and f5 or knight e8 and f5. But this knight on c7 looks awfully silly on c7. I don't, I don't really like this from Ali. I think this is pretty poor. Now Floor should probably play a move like knight e1, put it on d3, and be prepared to meet f5 with f3. Um, she can go a3 as well. Okay, Ali 100% is going to go knight. Oh, he goes a5, so he decides that also probably decent. Putting a stop to the uh, to the counterplay first. Okay, rook b1 I'm not madly in love with. Now Ali just goes knight e8 for sure. I don't even think he goes knight a6. Or he does go knight a6. Okay, so Ali does put the knight on a6. And floor knight d2. Okay, and now, now Ali's getting into kings in the mode. So he's going to put the knight on e8. Almost 100%. Or he's going to go king h8, knight g8. One of those ideas he is going to play uh, 100%. Yeah, he goes knight e8. Decides time to go. Now the question is, how does Floor intend to combat 
to 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 counter f5 here does she want to go g4 it looks a bit risky she goes to f4 very unusual to play this but i guess she's saying well uh i have to do something but her knight would be so much better on the d3 square that's the point the knight on d2 is actually very bad the knight on c3 is also very bad can ali go f5 here what is Ali going to do here? He goes knight back to c7. I don't really get this move at all. <laughs> I don't understand what Ali is doing. Okay, knight f3 I like. Now Floor's got ideas of e5. So that was Ali's moment if he was going to go f5, because now f5 is met by e5, and that looks very good for Floor. Okay, knight f6. Uh... Okay, Ali trying to, and now e5, let's go, Floor, I like it. Excellent. I like it. Very good stuff, Floor. <clears throat> if knight h5, bishop h2. He took, okay. Well, now floor must just be miles better. Bishop takes e5 looks good here. Knight takes e5 is also possible, and she does go for knight takes e5. I think this is also fine, pretty much. Um, bishop f5, okay. Hitting the rook, well, just rook c1. Or Bishop d3 is also a very natural move here, and she does play bishop d3, completely outplaying Ali. This mat, this uh, this chess game floor, completely outplaying him. I love it. Ali in a really really poor position here. Really 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 tough position. Okay, queen takes d3. And rook e8 finally by Ali. Ali slightly down on the clock, which is also unusual. Okay, and now up to floor. So she's got a lot of ideas here. A, a natural move like rook b to e1 looks completely reasonable. Just trying to meet knight h5 with, well, you probably have knight, knight takes f7 ideas anyway, so I'm not sure knight, knight h5 is even a, a threat here. But she's going to play the natural move. It feels like a good move, feels like a natural move. I quite like it. So rook b to e1. Rook a6. Ali Mortazavi with the unconventional rook move. Um... Yes, it can happen. So now floor. I mean, this position is just so dodgy for Ali, but we need to find a, a, a way through. It feels as though the queen isn't really doing too much. What about queen f3 as an idea? Just putting more pressure down the f file. That's the sort of move I would be looking at here. Uh, what else can we do? Um, we can, what else can we do here? I don't, uh, G4, look at this move, Florencia Fernandez, the hacker. Unbelievable. What a move. I mean, it might be a good move because you're stopping knight h5. Maybe it's a positional move. Maybe it's, or maybe she just wants to go G5, knight takes f7. Maybe this is just brilliant. Maybe G4 is just absolutely brilliant. And Ali's thinking, my word. <laughs> you can see why he's got a rook F8. He's absolutely in. But now, now, I mean, now Floor's got a gorgeous position. Bishop G5 looks tempting. Uh, what other moves look tempting here? Queen G3, love it. Now there's no knight. Eight. Oh, she's setting up knight takes G6, bishop takes it. Knight E8, that's probably a good move by Ali, trying to consolidate, put the knight on D6. Actually, it was pretty good, pretty decent here by Ali. Um, 
However, what's she going to do here? Queen F2? Mm, not a fan of... I mean, it's okay. She wants to meet knight d6 with bishop g5. That's her idea. So she's she's kind of preparing against that. Knight d7. Okay. I think that moves okay, actually. Now, is there... She decides to take... Ah, and she's going to take on c5. She's just going to... She's just going to win a pawn. Very reasonable. And a pawn is a pawn. And Ali getting totally outplayed. I mean, there's no other way to say it. But Ali is a very resourceful guy. He's a very tricky guy. Now I expect to move like h5 or something like that, trying to get some immediate counterplay. Knowing Ali, I've played tens of thousands of Blitz games with him. And I just know how he thinks. I know how he plays. He's not just going to play some knight d6 move here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I, it's just, I know him so well. Uh, I mean, this move for sure was going to be played. It's probably a good move as well, because g takes h5, queen takes h3. You don't have h takes g6 because rook takes g6 comes. And uh, yeah, queen e7 by floor, trying to get the queens up. Very sensible against... Somebody like Ali. Ali's going queen c8 here all day long. There's zero chance the queens come off, and queen c8 is the only other move. So queen c8 is going to be played reasonably quickly here by Ali, I would say. I mean, he could think about exchanging. No, but of course he plays queen c8. I don't know why I'm doubting myself. And d6 by floor. Okay, queen c5 check. Okay, king h2, I guess, floor will play. And what resources has Ali got? He's just going to take on... d7 is a big threat. d7 is a big threat here. So king h2. Oh, he can take on d6. She missed this. Or is it still good for white? It still looks good for white somehow. Knight a4, queen... What's going on here? Queen c6 or queen takes c4 both look reasonable, but losing that d pawn, he does take on c4. Yeah, tricky. Bishop takes d6, queen takes a4. And does she have uh, an idea here? I don't see it. Maybe just queen c7. What is this? Rook somewhere? Rook e6? Gh5 also looks tempting. I mean, her position is probably still good. No, not queen e4 floor. What's going on? Don't pre-move that. Don't pre-move queen c2 check, rookie two. Now queen c6, I guess, Ali's going to play. Queen d3, hitting the bishop. Careful. Okay, bishop, Ooh, bishop g3 doesn't really... I don't know, something, and now he just hitting the bishop. Careful. Queen four. No, 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 no. You're going into an endgame of pawn down floor. Actually, two pawns. You can even take on b2 now. Yeah. No, this is this is not going well for floor because rook g6 always covers the king. Now Ali is just two pawns up. Just has to be, yeah, bishop c3, rook f5. But floor's fast. Good move, rook f5, actually. It's not over. It's not over. Rook f5, excellent move. Rook d8, take. Okay. Can we? Rook d2, check. King h1, but I don't see rook g6. No, rook... Ah, uh, she lost on time. She lost on time. Uh, tough game, tough game. All right, so unlucky there for Floor. Um, uh, yeah, just uh, not fast enough. So now she needs to go to the second uh, link. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we're just getting the players logged in. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh, they're in. Okay, the, the window's coming. Here we go. All right. The poker is about to begin. All right, and it's floor 
who won the first poker round. So she lost the chess. She won the first poker round and Ali starting off aggressive as expected. So floor now, yeah, lovely raise here with the Queen Jack, correct raise. Let's see if Ali gets busy straight away. He calls and now floor with top pair. This is a mandatory bet against Ali. She bets half pot again, probably a little big, but it's probably okay. Uh, with top pair, and she gets raised. And I think from what she she's in no mood to fold here. She's gonna raise him. I love it. I absolutely love it. She's gonna click it back. I love it. Click it back, floor. Yeah, show him, boss. I love it. And he folds because he's full of it. I love it. Oh my goodness. I I absolutely love this. Okay, King Jack, she's going to defend, which is all King of Hearts here for Floor. Is she going to lead out? No, she's going to check. Or is she going to lead? She's thinking about leading, but she checks. Ali for sure is betting this flop, bets the pot. She calls. Okay. She's going to check again. Check call mode against Ali. Absolutely reasonable on this board. Just to check call down. She's going to call. And the deuce on the river... Now, are we going to see a bluff from Floor today? That's what I want to know. Are we going to see a bluff? She checks, so she gives up. And now Ali is going to shove it. Oh, he had the ace of hearts, and it's good. Wow, if a heart came off, it was all over. If a heart came off, it was all over there, but it didn't. So um, Floor survives the poker. Okay, she raises the ace five. Ali raises a uh, good, good size to 150. Floor calls, completely whiffs. Ali's going to bet 300 or 225, and Floor is not going to call. She doesn't know what to do against this aggression. It's, it's, he's just, he's just betting, raising, betting every flop. I mean, it's just fantastic stuff. Old school poker. This is how they play in the old school. And Ali raising to 80. She calls, and we need to see some more bluffs here from, from Floor. Because Ali, and he checks back. Okay, so he's really got nothing, basically. Now he's going to give it a little. Oh, he checks again. Okay, floor with seven high. She might be good here. The way the action has gone, he might have five high here, knowing Ali. He might have five deuce. Is he going to try? <laughs> he goes all in on the river. I love him. <laughs> well, floor can't call because she doesn't be anything. She's... If she calls and he had the five high, I would absolutely love it, but no. Okay, Floor's going to open. Ali's going to probably three bet here, as he loves to do. Loves to put a raise. <laughs> Every hand, three betting. She calls. She whiffs. She needs to make more of a stand. She needs to, like, four bet. Like, this is a perfect hand where she could actually re-raise all in, because Ali just has so many... So much air. He has six three. He has jack seven off suit. I mean, he has everything. Now, this is a hand where she calls. She has a super strong hand. She should have raised pre flop. She should have made it big because he, you know, and he's he clicks it back. She calls. Okay, she's just being too passive here, floor. Unfortunately, with her poker, too passive. And when she doesn't have a hand, she, she hasn't bluffed a single time. And Ali just takes it down with an eight. So he check raises the open ender, which is probably okay, actually. But, yeah, it's a little bit uh, passive from floor. So after this, I'll have to have a word with her to tell her uh, how to improve for next time. Okay, floor has a pair here. Is she going to get sticky? It's a tough situation because bottom pair on this board, there are a lot of bad turn cards for her. And she makes the discipline fold here, which is... Um, which is good. Okay, ace nine, she has to rip it in his face. Okay, she has to put it all in here against Ali. Good girl. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, he ru she runs into a hand. Yeah. That's so unfair. Oh, my God. Oh, she hit the nine. She hit the nine. <laughs> she hit the nine. <laughs> I love it. She hit the nine on him and he's laughing. That's brilliant. Well done, Flo. 
That's excellent. All right. Now, floor in control with the big chip lead. All right, Ali. Well, actually, they're equal now in chips. <laughs> She's got the Ali Mordazavi here, the five deuce offsuit. The amount of damage this guy has done with that hand, I can't tell you. All right. Floor now with the 7-3. No, it's a 7-3 suited. She has to raise that. She's got chips again. She has to raise. Okay, Ali Claw, she checks. This is good. Okay, a six is excellent. Yeah, lead out. That's right. Get value from Ali. I love it. Bet again, you picked up a flush draw. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now what's Ali going to do? Is he going to raise this card and represent a flush? No. Decides to fold. Had absolutely squadoosh. Had nothing. All right, Floor does this. Okay. <laughs> uh and Ali limps, she checks, that's fine. Okay, she had uh, obviously the 10 5 off suit. Very, very difficult uh, hand to play. And she's going to, she calls. Okay, she floats one. Let's see. Are we going to see something now from, I want to see some, I want to see some initiative here from Floor. I want to see her take the, oh, she, Rivers of Five. Is that, is she, is she going to be good here with the five against Ali? Yes, yeah, she, <laughs> of course the five is good. Of course, the five is good. I love it. Ali laughing. I absolutely love it. Okay, Ali's going to raise here. I just guarantee whatever two he has, he's going to raise this up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, floor folds. They're back to even chip stacks. The blinds are 25.50. So they've got about 30 blinds, which is more than enough 2040. Oh, they've got plenty of all oh, floor with a flush draw here. Come on, floor. Bet out. I love it. We could see this could be an all in moment here. I think Ali. Oh, no. Ali didn't have anything. Okay. Okay. So she she raises now. Good. Now, now bet, bet this flop floor. Don't just check. Don't just check. Bet it. Yes. Yes. That's the first time we've seen floor bluff. That's exactly what you should do. Put him in a tough position. Okay, it's just a shame that he has something and you have to follow. But that, I want to see more of that initiative from Floor. Okay. Okay. So Ali now with the slight chip advantage. He's going to raise uh, for sure. Now nah, you want to just punish Ali. Okay, she calls, but that's fine as well. Ace of Hearts here. Great flop. This is one of those flops that you can check raise because with the Ace-8 on the Jack-7-5, you pick up a lot of turns, uh, you pick up equity with a, uh, a straight draw, flush draw. So it's one of those hands that you can actually check raise, as they do nowadays. Queen seven suited for floor. She checks. Okay. She now bets it on the jack eight six. Interesting. Interesting lead. Uh, and she gets raised. And she calls, not having any of it. Thinks Ali is full of it. And you're right. He could have the 10-9. He could have the 7-5. But knowing Ali, he's probably got the jack-6 offsuit and Floor is in big trouble here. And he does check. Wow. Maybe just had an 8. Floor with queen eye. Well, if she checks, she's, she might be good. He had the 6. He checked raise 6. I mean, okay. Floor now raising. Okay. She's still in it. Only a slight chip advantage to Ali. Or oh, ace jack. She has to raise. You have to make a yes floor. Good, excellent. Oh well. Now we go. Now we go for three streets of value. Just bet, 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 bet. He might fold. Yeah. Unfortunately, he just had nothing. But yeah, the bet is okay. All right. So she raises the eight seven suited. Good. Now is she going to continue on this flop, or is Ali going to lead out? Now he checks. She checks back. Okay. This ace, Ali's going to represent. Ali's going to bet here. Yeah, exactly. He never has an ace here, by the way. Never in a million years. Does he have an ace? Ever, ever, ever? I'm not even sure he had anything. But uh, he just sensed weakness, and uh, that was good enough. Now Floor is leading with the jack here. Very dangerous. This is the sort of board Ali loves to raise. Yeah, and now you have a tough decision. Now if your Floor... You've got King Jack. You've got top pair with a good kicker. She just clicks it back. I absolutely love it. Just saying, oh, no, she's got a seven. Yeah, <laughs> over, yeah. 
Unfortunately, for Floor, yeah, he had the seven, and uh, that was good enough. So that's the end of the poker. So it's uh, Ali wins both the, the the chess and the poker for the second game. So now we're playing the third match, which is poker and chess at the same time. And what it means is uh, Floor actually, it was one all in the first, so she basically needs to win both in order to survive. So is Floor going to be able to do it? Is she going to be able to play the chess and poker at the same time? She said she tried once already. She found it very, very difficult. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how they do. Right. We're getting set up here, obviously. And uh, we'll soon see. So Flora's got the poker. She needs to log into the poker as well. Eh, ahora van los dos juntos o? Sí, los dos juntos. Tienes ah. que registrarte, sí. Ah, ok, ok. En el primer, sí, el primer la enlace, sí, sí. Con sí, la misma contraseña. Sí, él ya está, ok. So, floor now, getting in. Eh, sí, es. Ok. Entonces, tienes que... Enseñar las dos pantallas, ¿no, Flor? Sí. Ahí está bien. Yep. Okay, good luck. So, uh, Flor starting out here. Uh, she has got the queen three. Uh, Ali limps. She checks. And Ali playing the poker here as well. Now, Ali, uh, apart from being a, a very successful uh, biotech uh, CEO, is also... Uh, you know, for many years he was trading in the city. And Ali has got three screens at home. He's very used to multitasking on a lot of screens. And I feel as though that this is going to be uh, something that Ali is very, very, very comfortable doing, basically. Um, so Ali wins the first pot in the poker, actually already a big pot. We have a wing gambit, which actually... Yeah, I've known Ali a long time. He's never played the wing gambit against me. And look at this. He plays B3, C4. I love it. It's pretty good. Okay. So B3, C4. And we're going to get a kind of... Well, it's not really a Maroxy because White is still... He's actually got like a... Is this some kind of weird... I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, mean, I quite like it for White. You go D4 and you have this huge sensor. Yeah. I mean, this is this could be dangerous for Flora on the back foot already in the chest and in the poker. Dangerous. She needs to find a bit of energy, a bit of momentum. Okay, so Flora, wow. Flora has two pair in the poker here. I mean, if Ali bets, she has to raise. Okay. Now she bets half pot. Okay. Ali, Ali might get sticky. No, he has nothing. Okay. So Floor thinking what to do in the in the chess. She plays knight f6. And now Ali goes d5 in the chess. Very interesting. Putting a question to this knight. Now, can you just go knight a5? Probably can. In the poker floor has a gut shot straight draw with the four, and she leads at it. I love it. Now, peel that four off. Okay, is she going to double barrel? Is she going to bluff again? I love it, floor. That's what I want to see, more bluffs. Oh, and now she's in a tricky spot. She's going for it. The three barrel. I love it. But he had a queen, and he just called. But the heart was there. That's what I love. She had the heart. 
And that's the most important thing. She had the heart, but she needs to, if she wants to pull off that bluff on the river, she needs to go really big. She only went for the half pot size, which is not enough. If you're gonna pull off a bluff like that, you have to do, you have to polarize your bet. It means you have to bet a very big size, uh, you know, the pot or double the pot. Now, Ali might not care and he might just call because he has a queen, but hello, talking about queens, how about three ladies? Check back one time, trap him floor. Yes. Now get the lot off him. Now get the lot. Now when he bets it, you raise him, raise him into next week floor. That's what I want to see. I want to see you raise him into next week. Let's see what's going on here. Ali taking a think now in the chest and the poker. What's he doing? Uh, he didn't have anything. That's such a shame. Is he online still? He looks... Oh, no, he is online. Okay. I think this is slow action for Ali. Okay, he's having a good think in the chest. King nine here. Floor going to do... So what Floor is doing is she's leading out on boards. Not typical. Normally, you check to the button and let the button bet. Uh, so she's leading with all her strong hands. At least she's leading with some of her bluffs as well. Um, so that's good. Now, why is Ali taking so long? Is he tired? Is he getting old? What's going on here? He didn't take this long before. Okay, he takes on b3 with the queen. Weird move, allowing knight takes e4. I have no idea what he's trying to do in the chess. Why would you allow knight takes e4 here? I don't get it. Why wouldn't you play a move like bishop d3 or something? Weird. Okay, so floor now with a good position in the chess. I don't see what you're doing against knight takes e4. Okay, floor check calls. Now is she going to try and take it away from him on the turn here with the eight blocker? Are we going to see a bet now from Floor? No, she checks. She doesn't connect, so now she only has jack high. And Ali, for sure, is the pot. Unless Floor tries something monumental here. Yeah. That was a good bluffing opportunity for Floor when that three came down. A seven made a straight. She could easily have a seven. Now she's got low chip. She has to put it in his face again with the ace nine. I mean, I would be, yeah. She wants to, yeah, that's right. Just, just raise it all in. That's what I like to see. Now, has Ali actually got a hand? Oh, he's got king queen. It's an effective flip. Jack six, six, good for Floor. Needs to dodge a king or a queen. And she does. Well done. So Floor taking the lead in the poker. Excellent. Now Ali has to do some work in the poker and the chess. The dream is alive. Floor could win both. This would be absolutely unbelievable if that happened. Ali decided to call off King Queen for 30 big blinds. A little bit loose. Not approved. As the kids would say, <laughs> as the kids would say, not approved, not solver approved. Fantastic. Okay, what we got going on here? So knight a6 by floor in the chest. Why is Ali taking so long? I mean, normally he's so fast. He's really, is he struggling with the format? I thought this was something that he would be really fantastic at, but clearly he's 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 having a bit of a hard time. Now, Floor betting this flop. I love it. She's got nothing, but so what? It's keep 5-5-2. Five, five, she could easily have the best hand here. There's no reason why Ali should have the best hand. And he does fold. And Floor with a wonderful position in the chest. She goes knight c5. I mean, the problem she's got, though, is after, let's just say, queen c2, which Ali will play. And when Ali castles... How is she getting her pieces up? But she can't develop along the long diagonal. So Ali actually has got quite a bit of initiative in this game. 
So the chess is by no means a, a given here. She had the opportunity of playing queen b6 at some point, I noticed, and attacking f2 and forcing the queen trade, which could have been interesting. Floor with ace high here, she's going to have to fold, and Ali wins quite an important pot in the poker. Okay, queen c2 by Ali in the chess makes a lot of sense. And okay, a limp here by Ali. Very unusual to see a limp from him, but we'll see. We'll take it. Okay, Flora's got a pair. She needs to be sticky here. Ali is not limping an ace ever. So Ali could have all kinds of nine sevens, five three, five three. He could have a worse three in bet here. Okay, so he bets the pot for you absolutely must call here. She does. Okay, the eight obviously isn't the best card, but now she's got a decision to make. She checks. Ali just bets the pot. I think he's full of it, Percy. I think he's got four deuce or something like that. I would be sticky here with Floor. Yeah, give it a call. Now, this 10 is also fine. Ali never limps king, queen, pre-flop. Queen nine, he never limps. Flop. He's got like some random gut shot. He's got five deuce, four deuce, seven, five. I would actually love to see a check call here on this river. Now, Ali's going to go all in for sure and bluff this river because he knows he has to bluff to win. But there's just absolutely no way that he has got a real hand here. No way on earth. Can Floor find a call? If she calls this river and wins, I mean... I will love it so much. She, uh, she, she, of course, the, the call is, you know, you shouldn't call this river under normal circumstances. You were playing somebody you didn't know. But the point is that he's playing, she's playing Ali Mordazavi, who is a very, no, she just calls the ace-jack. She could have raised here. She should be raising the ace-jack suited here. It's too strong not to raise. She checks, but she should check call. She should just check call this. She's going to call. Or she, actually, check raise is also completely fine here, but she just calls. She's just going to say ace-jack is good. Just call him down with ace-jack. I love it. The guy's just got king-queen, or the guy's got king-ten, and he just goes, <laughs> I love it. Call! I want to see a call here so bad. I think she's got the best hat. I think he's full of it. I don't think he's got anything. I think he's got a flush draw at best. Call him, Floor. Call him. I call him. I want to see the call. Take him out. No, she hasn't got it. She just can't. She just thinks, yeah. And he was, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to ask him about specific hands, but I'm sure he was full of it. Okay. In the chest, Floor in the deep in the tank. Here, uh, after knight c3, trying to figure out a way. How do I develop my pieces here? Because it is very tough. Ali with big initiative, very, very dangerous. I mean, sh sh she can't go g6. She has to go e6, which looks ugly. Um, I, I, I don't like her chances. She goes back to f6. Oof. Now Ali's just going to castle, put a rook on e1. And anytime she goes g6, well, actually, knight f6 might be a really good move. She can go g6 now. This is this is really good by Floor, actually. She found a way. That's really excellent. I completely misevaluated that. That's really excellent. Well done, Floor. In the poker, uh, she has bottom pair. She called, and now she turns a double gut shot. So a two or a six will make a straight. So if Ali bets the pot, which he loves, he just goes all in. I mean, I, I mean, she must be tempted to call one of these bets at some point because she's just getting pushed around, but she doesn't want to lose. So she's she's staying with chips. She's staying with chips. Okay, two threes. All right. Now, is she going to call off if Ali raises? Maybe. If Ali makes it 240, <laughs> is she just going to go all in? And she, he just called. Okay. Difficult board to play here with two threes. 
But are they actually thinking, hold on, the chess is suddenly not that easy? Okay, Floor going to bet the threes. I don't mind it. Why not? In You don't have to have two threes here when you raise preflop. So bet the threes and, you know, maybe bet, bet, and then give up. Knight h4 here, by, and she took down the pot. I love it. Knight h4 here by Ali. I also quite like this move, I think. Bishop g7, but floor f4. And yeah, I mean, okay, Ali going. Ali realizing that actually things have gone horribly wrong. This move, knight f6, was really, really good by floor. And she gets to get castled, and her position is good. She bets again. Top pair is way good enough against Ali. Um, and Ali goes f5. Now they're getting down to slightly lower times. And Ali calls. And now what's Floor going to do? Is she going to check or is she going to bet this river for value? Floor going queen b6. Excellent move in the in the chess. Threatening all kinds of knight e4 ideas. And she bets the pot. I absolutely love it. I have to say. Make Ali call with a bad pair. Um, I think Ali... Yeah, and he did call, and she got max value. I absolutely love it. Well done, Floor. I don't know what Ali had there, but she got the absolute maximum on that river with that pot bet. Absolutely brilliant. So Floor now and Ali equal in the poker, and the chess, very, very tricky position here in the chess as well. So it's all to play for. Brilliant stuff. Um, okay, Floor has a three. She's going to bet it. And Floor with the move Queen B3 in the chest also looks like a really good move here, actually. Great move because Queen D2 runs into Knight E4. Queen C1 might be the only move to keep the Queens on. And then Knight E4 anyway, Knight Fe4 and... Ali's position suddenly looks very, very bad. This looks absolutely excellent from floor. Brilliant stuff. Okay. Queen c1 has indeed been played. Now we want to see knight fe4. Knight fe4 has to be the move. Knight takes e4, bishop takes b2, knight takes c5. Oh, that's a bit nasty. That's a little trap, actually. Could get in trouble there. In the poker, Ali bets this and Flora is going to fold 100%. It's just not a board that she can continue on. And, uh, okay, even in the poker. So what's Flora going to do? She's got four and a half minutes. She gets 10 seconds per move, though, which is really good. She's just trying to calculate knight fe4. Or ace queen here for floor in the poker. She needs to re-raise here, whatever Ali does. Oh, Ali folded. How unfortunate. I think that's one of the only folds he's done, actually, so far. Okay, you got to raise this, the 4-3 suited. Gorgeous little hand to raise up. Ali folds. Okay, ace fourth. You can mix in some three bets here. So if Ali raises, you can definitely raise here with the ace four. But Flora, I think, is going to check. No, she's good. Yeah, she does check. Okay. And she's probably going to check this flop. Spending a long time here in the chess floor. But of course, it's 10 minutes plus 10 seconds. Yeah, she finally does go knight fe4. Okay. Now, the thing is, can you... And Ali snap plays rook f3, putting the pressure directly back on floor. As she completely missed this move, it's probably a very good move, actually. Um, yeah, this is, this is a good move from Ali. Floor raising the king jack in the poker. This is good. Ali re-raising. Now, I don't see floor folding King Jack. Is she going to click it back? She calls. 
Uh, she whiffs this flop. That's going to be tough for her to continue on. Uh, she can't really continue. Ali checks. Okay, fl all floor turns of Jack. Is she going to get sticky now? Or is Ali actually trapping this one? I'll be really curious. Or has Ali just got ace king here? He goes all in. Is she going to call? I think she's going to call. I think this one she's going to call in the poker. I really do. I think she's just had enough. She has a decent pair. Ali's just 2x potting. I mean, this is the sort of bet that is difficult to face because it's such a polarizing bet. And in the chess, I'm a bit concerned because now queen h6 is coming. It could all end very, very quickly. And she folds in the poker. Okay, she's just not letting Ali have these all-in bets. But in the chess, I'm very worried now. There's some queen h6, rook h3 coming. And the, this chess could just be all over. I think she completely misunder, underestimated this queen h6 move or something of that nature. And Ali's just 100% going to play that move. And f takes g6, knight takes g6, sacrifice is just winning immediately. So queen h6 is just going to be a huge problem for Floor here. Queen f4. That's a very, very surprising move. I have absolutely no idea why he didn't go queen h6. It's probably still good enough, but queen f4 is just incredibly surprising to me. I don't get that move at all. Not in the spirit of Ali Mordazavi. Okay, checks. And Ali drags it in. Floor played queen a5 in the chess and rook h3, precisely. Or maybe Ali just wanted to support the f5 pawn, but it's, I don't know, it's a little bit funny. Yeah, knight b3, I mean, he might just, well, he probably won't ignore it. He'll probably go rook f1 or something. Ali, ha uh, sorry, Floor has an ace in the, in the, in the poker, and, uh, yeah, you want to, uh, you know, you want to bet, and Ali does fold. So Floor with a difficult decision, under two minutes now in the poker, uh, in the chess, sorry. Uh, so... Okay, two tens by floor. Big hand here in the poker. Has to raise. Yeah, rip it in his face. I love it. Has Ali got a hand here? He open raised. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a hand to call. Okay, big decision here for floor in the chest. One minute 14. Tough, tough position. I really don't know. She said, oh, E6 is, no, 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 no. E6 is going to run into F6 and it's just all over immediately. Aye, aye, aye. If she plays E6, it's just gone. E6, Ali, snap, plays F6, Queen H6, and it's all over, just like that. Uh, E6, even Queen H6 immediately. Uh, what? She's got the knight selected. What is 96? What is, she? I don't get it. Okay, she's not going to play 96. 42 seconds left for floor. She's having a tough time here, deciding what to do. The position's ugly. Oof. King g7, knight takes g6, probably wins here. Queen h6 check is nearly gorgeous, but it doesn't quiet. Does it? F takes g, uh, F takes g6, h takes g6, queen h6, king takes h6, knight f5, king g5 is not made. Okay, lots of ways for Ali to cause problems in the, in the chess here. F6, he doesn't want to go queen h6, does he? If that works, wow, he's eyeing it up. 
Oh my goodness. If he plays queen h6, knight f5, and it works. Oh my goodness. King g5. Rook g3 check. King takes f5. Rook. It doesn't work. Ah, he wants to go knight f5 check immediately. That just. Knight f5 check is just mate. Knight f5 check is just immediately mate in queen h6. So he's dragging it out. In the poker, chips are about level, and he goes all in. Floor, are we going to get a call from a six here? Could be a good call here with the six, Floor. He could have anything. You've got a good six. It's alley, but no. But knight f5 check is just mate here, unfortunately, in the chest. And if he she moves the king, rook takes h7 is mate. And why is Ali taking so long? This is like a mate in two that he would play in a blitz game against me all day long. Floor with a pair of sevens in the poker. Looks good. Let's bet it. I like it. Ali just cruising in the chess. But knight f5 check has to just win. I don't know what he's thinking about. Knight f5, bishop takes f5, queen h6, queen takes h7. Knight f5, king anywhere, rook takes h7, and queen h6. And it's all over. The back rank is covered. There is nothing really to, to be concerned about here. Really surprised Ali is taking so long. This is the sort of tactic he would play instantly in a in a in a blitz game in the poker alley with a slide chip advantage okay he's still betting some flops so the poker can still go on okay floor getting a bit sticky with the three looks completely reasonable she's gonna have to fight face a second bullet here from ali ali is not slowing down on this card probably bet the size of the pot as ali likes to do Yeah, and Ali finally does play knight f5 check. So Floor is not going to survive the chess. Nice tactic there by Ali, knight f5. And yeah, Ali just a bit too good in the chess today. And uh, that's going to that's gonna count. And she did call, and Ali actually did have a better a, a better pair there. So unlucky for Floor. She raises here. Now is that going to go all in? Feels like Ali might go all in. Floor with eight seconds in the chest. She's not going to survive. She has to make a move. She did. She she lost on time. Okay, so the chess is over. She was dead anyway in that position. And in the poker, let's see what ends up happening. Okay, so the blinds are already quite large. And she flops a 10. She's going to lead. Ali calls. Just bet this, this turn. Ali could have an 8 here. That's yeah, He just calls and he could raise the river. She bets the pot here. She, he could raise this river with an 8. No, he doesn't. He wasn't trapping. We haven't seen many traps. So the poker chip stacks are about even, but the blinds are 40. So not many big blinds at all now for each of them. And they can focus on the poker. And Flora is going to check bottom pair. She turns two pair. Absolutely mandatory bet here by Floor. She bets half pot. And Ali had nothing. And she's going to raise the 10-8 suited correctly. 6-3-4. This is a bad flop for her. Ali's smashed that flop, believe me. Ali has just got a 5x here, believe me. He's going to lead out even. He's got he's absolutely all over this board, Ali. Believe me. He's got this board so long. Oh, well, I mean, now he's definitely betting. Check, so he's just going to check. Oh, floor river to 10. So now she's going to bet. And now Ali might come in with the raise. I mean, it's very difficult. And she, he goes all in, and now floor has to fold. He was trapping the whole way. 
That's so unfortunate. A seven makes a straight, loose makes a straight. And I just knew he smashed this board. Absolutely knew it. And she has to fold. So that's very unfortunate. And floor down in the in the poker now with very few chips. Ali checks. Probably gonna bet this flop as well. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Checks it. And floor wins with nine high. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what Ali had there. Clearly couldn't beat nine high. Uh, Jack three suited is a raise, but yeah, she checks back this board. Okay, she's got Jack high. Is she going to take a stab? No. Ali wins with King high, which is good. Or oh, Floor has to go with this hand here. She has to put it all in. Yeah, go on. Just rip it in his face. Ooh. This raise is probably okay as well. But now she has to follow through. Now you have to bet. Well done, Floor. Good. Excellent. Yeah, well done. Excellent. And Ali folds, and she's back. Got the 10A of spades again. She had this last time. Ali folds. Ali really getting some muck. Feels like Ali hasn't had a strong hand for a long time. Ali just calls. She checks. Very interesting flop. She flops a gutter and some potential other straight draws. So she should be calling here. I, or maybe it's a little bit like... Oh, she does peel, which I don't mind. Now what's she going to do? She's going to have to check fold because Ali is just going to blast. Oh, she rivers a four. But this is a dangerous card because Ali, Ali easily could have been uh, betting with a six with a gut shot here. And he goes all in and Floor has to fold again, unfortunately. So Ali reclaiming the chip advantage. She folds a nine deuce offsuit. Floor now, you know, ace four. I mean, if he goes all in, I think this is, you have to call. He bets big. Wow, this is a difficult spot, actually, because you feel like he might have a strong hand. I actually I actually quite like the fold there by Floor. I have, well, she has to go with this one. Two sevens, put it in. That's good. That's fine. Has Ali got a hand to call? No, he doesn't. Floor picks up the pot. Eight five suited is a hand she wants to get involved with. She can call here. Oof, tough board. Flops an eight. No flush draw. Bottom pair. Ali can be aggressive, and she has to fold, so she's not going to survive this one. Okay, the next blinds are coming up. 1,500. Now they're really short on blinds. Floor, if she keeps on folding, she's just going to have, like, just a few blinds to work with. Okay, she has a three... She's going to check it this time. If Ali bets, though, yeah, this is a really difficult spot for Floor. She's going to fall. She's 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 doing well to conserve her chip stack, though. You've got to give her that. Queen 10, you can put it in the middle. Yeah, good. Excellent. Excellent. Has Ali got a hand to call? No, nope, he doesn't. So a nice pot there for Floor. And, oh, she folded the 6-5 suited. I think that's a jam as well, given the the, the stack sizes. Ali calls. Cool. She's going to see a flop. Well, one of the best flops for her. Backdoor, flush draw, immediate gut shot. The queen, is she going to check? Okay, she's taking a passive line. And is Ali going to bet this queen? He checks. Tough spot for Floor. I mean, she might be good, but I doubt it. Yeah, Ace Jack. Ali limped it. So that was interesting. So he was kind of trapping there. So that we did see an idea for trapping. Ace do suited. She goes all in. Ali with no hands of call. Nine six here, flops middle pair with a gut shot. It might be one of those check raise all in situations, actually. I wouldn't mind to see a bit of, well, she makes a straight. So if Ali's got a jack, it's all over, basically. <laughs> but he didn't have a jack. So Floor's still in it. Obviously, she has lost the match. But... Uh... You know, she's going to try and win this final poker. Rightly so. And Ali putting on the pressure now with the two-to-one chip advantage. 
Even this hand, 10-4 suited with 10 big blinds. It's close. She could probably put the lot in the middle. Wouldn't surprise me if it was okay. 6-5 off. She's checking to fold here. She's got nothing. Ali, well, Ali bets, and she's just going to fold. And, yeah, the chips are slowly disappear. Oh, Jack H is folding. Now she's only going to have 600 chips, 700. She's got seven big blinds. She's got the 8-4, which is a really known. She has to fold here. She's going to be down to five. What's she going to have? Oh, she still actually has enough blinds to work with. She's folding a lot. She's folding, folding. Uh, she's not having... She wants to call off here with the Jack-7 off. Nope, she gets that one through. Ali folds. Ali's waiting now. King three offsuit is fine here. Good, good jam. Back to eight ten. King was good enough. Ali raising. She folds. We are in push fold mode because they are so low on blinds. Floor folding. But if she just gets a load of bad hands in a row like this, what's she gonna do with this? Deuce nine. Well, she flops a nine. Wow. I mean, wow. I mean, she's just trying to get to showdown really. Uh, oh, that's a tough spot. Okay, she folds. And what she have? Two and a half. Yeah, she goes all in. My Ali might call here. Have we got a call? Fight? No, he doesn't find the call. So he had real trash. He had real trash. So. Five blinds. Yeah, she wants to go all in here with this suited jack turn. Ali folds. Well done, Floor. Excellent. Squeezing out a few few more blinds here. Go all in again. This is wonderful stuff. Oh, she got pipped by the A7. Oh, she flopped three sixes. <laughs> I love it. And now they're back to even again. I can't believe it. This is so glorious. She was dominated pre-flop she was pipped by one and unfortunately for ali uh she flopped the three sixes on him uh so she's still in it i she's i mean they're back to level she can raise she can go all in here i mean what are the blinds 50 100 next is 61 20 i mean we're already getting to like you know she's gonna have 10 bigs maximum and we're getting into push for wow she flops the absolute stone nuts trap call yes floor get him for everything he's gonna go bonkers here. he's gonna keep on betting yes now i'll just call now i love it trap him please please do just call that's right use a bit of time that's right i love it please just call Yes, and an offsuit river. That's so good. He, she, he checks Ali. Now you just got to go all in. And Ali's, and he calls with the seven. Wow. And Ali is absolutely decimated. Ali with just one big blind, you have to call eight deuce. He, unfortunately, it's the worst hand here because he's, Ali might win this actually. He does win it. Oh, it's a chop. The 10 chopped it. I absolutely love it. That that 10 roll off. Brilliant. Yeah, now you just got to put it all in here. It's nothing. She just rips it. Queen Doozy, she's dominated again. She, oh, she flops and dead. I love it. Excellent. Congratulations, Floor. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. Let me get Ali's sound back on. Okay, what an entertaining match. Absolutely fantastic. God, I hate poker. Oh <laughs> what a stupid game. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll just say, uh, thank you so much to both of you. We had, it was so much fun. The chess was fun. The poker was fun. Uh, Ali, I'll, I'll go to you first. Uh, so, uh, how you actually lost two to one in the poker? I did. I did. I yeah. did. Um, you got. I should have lost like, at the chess too. I, I yeah. I think like in the poker, uh, floor. Um, at first, well, I'll I'll talk to floor after. But at first, she was playing a bit passively, and then she started playing a bit more aggressively. But I felt like you got a little bit unlucky in the poker because even that last <laughs> hand, a seven against a. Oh no shit! 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was shit. I got unlucky. And in, there was another one. I think it was in the first match where what happened? Something else happened where you had. Yeah, a- well, outdrawn on that one as well. Okay. That's why I hate poker. It's a ridiculous game. Why do we play poker? <laughs> well, because you know you have fun. It's sociable, and there's there is. Some, I mean, it's just a game is a strategy game like anything else. But you were playing a uh, very old school poker, Ali. You were betting big, over betting the pots, going all in. How many bluffs did you actually? You know, we didn't see your cards, but how much bluffing was was you doing with the over betting the pot? Uh, did you say? I didn't. I wasn't really looking at the hands, to be honest. <laughs> I, was just cl- I was just clicking more than anything else. Did you have a lot of? Estoy segura que me blefé un montón, ¿no? Yeah, did you bluff a lot? Florencia wants to know if you were bluffing. Um, a lot. actually, not too much. No. No. no? Okay. No. okay. Interesting. Okay. Or not, or, or not that I, or not that I remember, anyway. Okay. Yo tenía una idea de que era muy agresivo y me iba a blefear mucho. I, según lo I, que I'll, me I'll speak to Flor now very quickly. I'll translate. So Flor said she had no idea he was so aggressive. Ya te lo había dicho antes, no que es muy agresivo. So Floor, I mean, congratulations for, for, for winning the poker. Um the chess was uh Increíble la, the chess. The chess la segunda estaba muy bien, ¿no? Yeah, you were doing very well in the second game. You should have won that. Oh, you had a crushing position in the second game. But you played sí. some uh, you played some strange. You uh, cambiaste damas en algún momento que no entendí. Sí, Tenías sí, que no es, es que tenía poco tiempo y no escuch- Encima a veces como silencio todo no escuchaba las jugadas a veces. Okay. Entonces medio que a veces me jugaba y no me daba cuenta, ¿entendés? Yes. Eh, sí, con poco tiempo jug- resolví muy mal. Eh, y después en esta última pensé que estaba bien. Sabes el problema que tuve. Pensé que tenía yo caballo B3 y dama de dos. Pero no tengo caballo de tres porque me hace torre por de tres. Entonces mi dama no puede volver. Y bueno, él remató súper bien ahí con caballo F5. Okay, no lo vi, de hecho. No vi caballo F5 que me, me destruye. I'll, I'll translate quickly. In the second game she thought she was doing very well, but she got short of time and then she just kind yeah. of didn't realize what she was doing. And in the third game, yeah, she found this really nice idea of knight back to F6 and then being able to develop with G6 because I didn't see a way to develop the position. Yeah, I didn't see it either. But knight f6 was brilliant to be able to play g6. Um, and then she was trying to find some tactics around queen b2 and, and that sort of stuff, and it didn't work. And then, um, yeah, once uh, yeah, once the, the, the g7 bishop came off Ali and you had all of this play, I felt like the game was over. But it took you a long time to find knight f5 check. Why was that? I don't know, because I was looking at queen h6. Yeah, you wanted to make queen h6. Yeah, basically. Five, but it didn't ever work. Yeah, I knew that's what you were thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I was desperate to make it work. Yeah, I, saw that. I knew it. I knew you wanted to make that work, <laughs> but um, yeah, but it didn't quite work out. No, that was that was that was, was good fun. Did you? How did you find the chess and the poker, Ali? Because I have to say, when I thought, "Oh, the chess and the poker, he'll be brilliant," I felt like you were slower than I expected. Did you? It's play pretty. Uh, it's pretty hectic. I then, mean, yeah, it was a. Uh, it was a bit weird. I, I thought I thought it'd be quite easy, but it's not. Because you trade, you've got three screens at home, you're doing a million things at once. I would have thought that you would be perfect for this, but it felt like you were a bit, yeah, I don't know, not the normal you. Well, maybe you can play me next time and see how you get on. (laughs) Don't don't you worry, (laughs) mate. Next time I will. Okay. Florencia, uh, I'll ask the same question quickly and then we'll then we'll leave it. Florencia, ¿cómo, cómo encontraste jugar al poker y al ajedrez a la vez? ¿Cómo me encanta. Lo... Es una locura igual porque es difícil concentrarse en los dos juegos. Medio que el mucho. poker lo vas haciendo más automático, sí. pero es muy difícil, sí. Pero Bien. a mí me gusta porque me gusta la acción rápida, entonces creo que es bueno mezclar el poker y el ajedrez, me gusta. Law said that she found it difficult to play the chess and the poker, but that she really yeah. loved the action. So she she's a bit of an adrenaline junkie, I think, Floor is. She likes the adrenaline, oh. she likes the, the rush, and to play both games at the same time, she enjoyed the challenge. So oh, she played well, really well. She played well. She played very well. It was a very close match. I mean, it was uh, it was an excellent match. So um, thank you so much. Congratulations, Ali. Uh, unlike- Congratulations, Ali. <laughs> yeah, thank you.
next time there's always a next time hopefully we can do this again next but, time for sure uh, tomorrow before you guys leave we've got the battle of the twins nick pert against richard pert two oh, guys. Really? <laughs> yeah ali knows extremely well ali and richard used to work together ali used to be with his boss uh, years and years ago and nick of course he knows as well uh two guys that uh well let's put it this way nick pert's poker style is going to be a little different to ali's <laughs> so he won't be putting all the chips in the middle in the second yeah, his chest is a bit different too. His chest is a bit different too. So we've got a completely different stylistic matchup tomorrow. Battle of the Brothers. I won't be here. It will be Simon Williams commentating, but it's going to be good fun. I suggest everybody come and watch. And before we go, of course, remember to become a premium member on Chess24. And if you're going to play poker, which you might play on Party Poker, which is great. We're doing this in collaboration with Party Poker. Please remember to play responsibly. Play within your means. Remember, it is gambling at the end of the day, and you should always gamble responsibly. That's it. I've had right. Thanks so much. Thank Doug. you very much. We'll Good see night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.